What's happening, everybody? It's your boy Farley here, and uh, I'm going to be doing my new comic book day haul. There are going to be three comics from my pool list, and then I've uh, picked up a few other comics here and there over the last couple of days, including a graded grail. So stay tuned to the end for that one. So let's just start with my pool list. Punisher number two finally came out. I'm really, really digging this. No, it's not Garth Ennis, but it's pretty daggum good, man. And it's kind of odd because Punisher really, they keep his uh, appearances kind of few in the first two comics. So m most of the, the storyline is told from the side of either the uh, FBI, I'm oh, sorry, the DEA. Is either the DEA or uh, the bad guys, Hydra. So um, when he does appear, man, y'all get ready. So because he ain't playing. Frank Castle is not there to play. So even though his appearances are kind of scattered, when he's there, you know, you know, it's gonna be just as handed out. All right, next, look at this cover. So I think this does it for Venom Toast. Look at that cup. Oh, that is sweet. That is Garon. What's the first name? Can't remember the first name, but Garon. This is a variant cover, I think. Yeah. By, done by Garon. Oh, sweet. Dude. I just can't stop looking at it. I'm telling you, man, Venom this year is killing it. Killing it! Alright, and the last comic from the pool list is going to be Batman Beyond, number 24. Digging this series as well. Really, really digging this alternative version of Batman. Alright, so this I got off of eBay. These are in really good shape, man. I don't think these have been red. I got, uh, this is a six-parter, 1985, Eagle Comics, Judge Dredd, Crime File. There's one, two. Corpses were turning up in the most unusual places. Here's four. These brown bowling covers are pretty cool. Here's five. Synthetic men. And the last number six. Yeah. Pop one rivet and you're dead, creep. And then I picked up another uh, Steve Ditko cover. My favorite uh, artist uh, when it comes to uh, old. Well, I, I dig some a couple of his other covers, but mostly I pick. I try to pick up his uh, horror type art that he did for uh, Charlton. So this is a haunted number five. From 1972. Yeah, just about anything Steve did go a lot. There's a couple covers that I that they have at my local comic book shop, and I'll probably end up picking them up. Uh, they're not the best, but it's there's just something about his artwork that takes me back, you know, to when I was a kid. So. And finally, my third graded comic in my collection. This is a grail. I've got two Walking Dead grails. The first one is a little bit uh, out of my price range right now, and that is the first appearance of the governor. 
Second is Walking Dead number 100, which is the first full appearance of Megan and the death of Glenn. Also, the first appearance of Lucille. So this is the variant cover from Sean Phillips. So, Walking Dead 100, this is a 9.8. And on the back. Undead, undead. So, yeah, really, really stoked to get this. Um, I'll be trying to save up probably and try to grab a, a Governor 9.8, maybe 9.6. It saved me a little bit of money. Um, and then probably first appearance of Alpha, uh, who's uh, the head of the Whisperer. So, like I said, in the previous video, I'm really, really stoked about that new storyline. And so, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Glad to get this. Glad to get this. So. All right. That's what I got for now. Thanks for watching, as always. And, uh, yeah. Feel free to uh, comment. Let me know what you think about these. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Follow out.